Hey Scorpio, it's your girl D here bringing you your September 2020 Silent Enemies reading. I hope all is well with the Scorpio Massive. I'm going to throw out three cards here and these three cards, I'm going to just tell you what the energy is that I'm feeling from them. Um, these three cards could represent people who are closest to you, friends, family, uh, people that you deal with on a regular basis, your barber, your kid's teacher, you know, somebody you bank with. But the thing is, is that with these people, you may be getting some intuitive nudges to pay attention to them. Scorpio, you you know all about intuitive nudges. Um, this reading is is based on that to help us to further um, enhance our intuition, especially when it comes to people uh, who are around us often. A lot of times we ignore our intuition um, in reference to people around us and Sometimes we shouldn't do that because we may be missing out on some things that we should pay attention to, especially if someone doesn't have our best interests at heart. So, um, you know, like I said, the silent enemy could be anyone. It could be a boss, an employer. Uh, I'm sorry, an employee. It could be uh, your cousin, your uncle. It could be your kid. <laughs> you know, um, it doesn't have to be something where, you know, it's that severe. It could be. It could be, you know, people are acting funny because they're trying to surprise you. Or people could be acting funny because they don't like your energy. Right? Um, so, you know, the whole purpose of this is if you were resonating with this reading and you've been getting intuitive nudges about a person around you based on what I describe, um, at that point, maybe you want to investigate those intuitive nudges and then decide how you're going to respond to them. So um, the three cards that I have here, Queen of Swords energy, okay, Chariot in reverse, and then we have Judgment. All right, so you got two major arcana here. So let's talk about the first card. Now these can all be connected um, or they could be separate individual people, places, things, or ideas. Now, you could be your own uh, silent enemy or worse enemy as well because, you know, we do got Pluto here <laughs> for the judgment. So we'll talk about that in a moment, Scorpio. So let's let's take a look at the first card here, the Queen of Swords energy. Um, this is an energy of cutting something off. Somebody's feeling as if they want to communicate with you. I feel like somebody wants to communicate. The queen energy represents the yin energy, um, which is how you feel, your emotions and feelings. So somebody may feel as if they want to um, hear what you have to say, or maybe this is your energy towards people who are coming to you that you may not um, feel comfortable with. That could be your energy towards them. Like, okay, you know what? Um, for example, this could be somebody that you had bad, you know, you fell out on bad terms with. And this person may approach you. This could be your energy, this Queen of Swords energy as in, okay, I'll hear what you have to say. But, I, you know, I really wasn't going to reach out to you. I really didn't want to communicate with you. But, you know, if you have something to say, cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's like, if it's not a bunch of BS... You know, I'll hear what you're saying, but if I hear something that's really, I'll just end the conversation, like, and, and just hang up the phone. <laughs> Something's like that. That's the energy I'm getting with this Queen of Swords energy. But I feel like somebody could be being that way to you as well. So if you have somebody around who's being very short, short-tempered, short patience, um, this is someone who's just being, they're not being really emotional. It's just everything is a matter of fact. You may want to check that out and see what's going on with that um this could be legal okay some type of legal matter as well because the queen of swords to me represents um you know things going on legally behind the scenes um as far as documents being drawn up things like that so this could be you know this is coming up as a silent enemy because it could be something that is coming towards you that you may not be aware of um well, hopefully it's not the case but um, hmm, this could be an employer, okay? You may, um, you know, your employer may just be, you know, not saying much to you or just being direct and to the point, being very curt, very short, yes, no answers. But this could be anybody around you who's acting this way, okay? 
So those are different, you know, messages that I'm getting about that card. But long story short, someone around you could be being very short with you, very curt with you. Um, you know, just yes, no, no real emotion, no real feeling in what they're saying. There's something behind that. Now, it may not necessarily be that it's directed towards you, but because you sense it, you know, it's something you may invest, you may want to investigate, especially if it's a friend, family member, loved one, you know, maybe they're having some issues and you're able to pick up on that intuitively by the way they're communicating with you. All right. But this could also be some type of legal <clears throat> documentation, some type of documentation coming to you in the mail as well. So be on the lookout for that, Scorpio. This next card is the chariot reversed here. This energy um, is an energy that makes me feel as if there are some if this is someone coming towards you, um, I feel like this person is not emotionally stable is what I'm feeling strongly here. I feel like they're not emotionally stable. I feel like they're not able to move away from you or move on from you. This could be some type of obsession, Scorpio, that somebody may have with you. Because the chariot is ruled by cancer, the moon, and that's all about your emotions and feelings. And um, when the chariot, to me, when the chariot is upright, it represents the fact that, you know, you came out of a really harsh place emotionally. You know, you were dealing with a lot emotionally and you're able to now, you know, balance your head and your heart and able to move forward. When it's in reverse, I feel like that's an issue that someone has not been able to do that. They've not been able to move forward. Whether they, um, you had an argument with someone and you guys are no longer speaking. You know, it could be a family member. It could be an ex. But I feel like this person is not able to move on. So you may hear from this person is what I'm feeling here. Some of you may be having car trouble as well, or, you know, you got to be careful. Something may happen with the car or your transportation is what I'm feeling here. Some of you may have to get the car fixed or repaired, or you need to get it looked at is what I'm feeling as well. Some of you may want to travel, but for whatever reason, you can't. I think if you have some plans, they may be canceled. Be careful. <clears throat> it may be, um, and it may be canceled because some, I don't know, like, for example, you could be, you and your a lover could decide you want to take a trip. You guys could have planned for the trip. And then all of a sudden, because now you guys are fighting, you can't go or you're not going to go. Now, this may not have happened. Some of you, you know, you may be feeling some sort of way towards your partner and you may feel like you don't want to move on with them. You can't move forward with them is what I'm feeling here with this chariot energy in reverse. It could be um, you dealing with someone with some childhood issues as well with the chariot in reverse. They have not been able to move past those issues because the chariot is cancer. Cancer deals with the nurturing energy. You know, the fourth house deals with the nurturing energy. <clears throat> so, you know, um, this could talk about childhood issues um, in reference to you or somebody that you're dealing with. Okay. This judgment energy here, this is your energy, Scorpio. Okay. When judgment comes around, it's because something is coming back again for you to look at. Okay. Okay. Um, Perhaps you may not have processed the information um, in a way that was healthy. So usually that's when things come back up again or, you know, someone, if it's a if it's a thing, that's what it is or an idea or belief. Uh, if it's a person, someone could be coming back to you, um, you know, and it doesn't have to necessarily be a lover. It could be that you have family members that you haven't spoken to in a while. You know, say, for example, hypothetically, you have family members you haven't spoken to in a year. Those family members, you know, now with the um, this time of year, you know, Thanksgiving is coming up, all that type of stuff. So, you know, there may be somebody who may want to reconnect with you is what I'm feeling here. But if it's not a person or it's not an idea, 
it, it's a situation that's going to come up and you're going to be in a position where it's a situation that came up before a similar situation the players and all the other details may be a little different but I feel like it's the same thing and so you're gonna have to make some type of decision now with this Queen of Swords and judgment here I definitely feel like there's some court issues some of you could be going through divorce okay or separation or there could be some other legal issues going on is what I'm feeling. Some of you are having problems moving. Um, you may want to move or relocate and you may not be able to do so. Um, is what I'm feeling here for a lot of you with this chariot in reverse as well. Uh, relocation concerns, relocation problems. Yeah, that's what I'm getting for you, Scorpio. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the extended. The link's in the box below. I'm going to break down all these cards and find out what's going on here. Um, especially with this Queen of Swords energy here. I uh, want to know what's going on with that for sure. Well, it, all of them are pretty um, interesting as far as the energies here and how they will be affecting you. So, yeah, let's go to the extended and break these down a bit and see what's going on. And then we'll get you some advice. So if this resonated with you as is, thank you so much for checking it out. Please click the like button and make sure you guys subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll know when I post because uh, I do post weekly. The extended, the link is in the box below for that. So if you want to come on over, feel free. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next reading. Peace out, Scorpio.